to make comeback. Kita lang ako. Ayan, so sa hapon na to, um, de, before we start, I want to know, kamusta kayo? Ayan, sino-sino ba yung nasa Zoom natin? Pakibanggit nga muna sa akin. Tingin ka doon. Sino yung nasa una na yun? Ako. Uh, Kirsten, Milky, Suji, Jensel, Ian, Angelina, at saka Pao. Tapos, Jensel, mm. Suzy, si Pao. Mm. So, Angelina. ayan, gusto ko lang malaman. Kamusta kayo sa loob ng bahay nyo sa loob ng one week? Pogi pa din. <laughs> Medyo nakaka board kasi pang nafi-feel natin yung last year. Uy, last year, parang ganito na naman. Uy, last year nag-birthday ako, quarantine. Mag-birthday ah. ulit ako ng quarantine. Ano ba 'yan? 'Di ba? Mahirap lumabas. Pero gusto ko malaman ano yung na-feel nyo habang nasa loob kayo ng bahay. Nakakalungkot. Mm. Ano pa? Malungkot. Malungkot. Ano pa? Sip pa? Yung na-feel nyo lang. Milky. Mike. Mike. Kuya. Ano yung na-feel mo nung nakapag ka ng bahay? Hindi ka nakapag-youth last week, di ba? So, anong feeling? Ah. Online ka lang. Tapos online ka ulit ngayon. Tapos online ka ulit next week. Hmm. Oh my! Gusto ko face to face. Mm. So face to face. O, oh, wag ka muna lalabas. <laughs> Ayan. Yung next natin si si Angelina. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday! Advance. Happy birthday! Advance. Happy birthday! One, two, three! Happy birthday, birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Ayan, so hindi na uh, 18 years old. Ni Angelina tumalun na agad noon. 19 na siya kaagad ngayon. Oh. 16 pa lang. <laughs> Sino ba niya? <laughs> Ilan years ago na yun. <laughs> ako, din, ako naman 19. Ah, lahat siya nung <laughs> Ako na 20 na. <laughs> Ako pipi. Oh, sige. <laughs> Hello. Ay, wait lang. May gusto lang ako suggest. Sino yung nakataas ng kamay? Kirsten. 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 <laughs> Yan. Gusto ko lang sa hapon na to, open cam tayo. Unless may PM na nakalagay sa'yo, hindi ka namin papa-open cam. May price. French price. <laughs> picture yan, muna tayo. Makita mo. Picture tayo, Willis. Mm, picture. Na. Para maganda na. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Sige. Yan, kahit ano. Uh, kahit nakamas kita. Ito na nakangiti tayo. Yan, open cam tayo para ano. Hindi naman tayo magkakaiba dito eh. Ayan, gusto lang namin makita yung mga mukha nyo. Ayan, kahit na nasa online tayo, mas maganda pa din na ano, nakikita natin yung isa. Diba sabi nyo, gusto, gusto nyo ng face to face. Ayan, ngayon. Nasa Zoom tayo. Pakita nyo naman yung mukha nyo. Sige, malay nyo. Hindi tayo makita next week. <laughs> Huwag na kayo mahiya. Lahat yan sabi, um, you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. So, huwag may kahiya yung itsura mo. Wala na ako. Adrian, you look taller. Yung suplex. Salamat. Oh, you look taller. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be there. 
Yan dyan lang. Ayan po. So before we start po, um, hindi tayo magkakakon ng icebreaker. Kasi gusto ko makita yung mga mukha ng bawat isa and then wag po tayong mahiya na ipakita yung mukha natin. Yan, kasi na-miss natin yung bawat isa, di ba? So okay lang yan. Hello, Angelina, Jensel, Pao. Welcome po sa inyo sa Zoom. Kahit nasa Zoom tayo, okay lang yan. Mm. Kasi, di ba, kahit nasa Zoom tayo, okay lang yan. Kasi soon magkikita tayo. Okay. Yan. Hello, okay, Milky, Kirstin, Ian, or so. Pasensya kasi hindi ko makita yung mga pangalan nyo eh. Ah, okay. Masyado. Open na ba? <laughs> Zuri and Pogi, welcome. <laughs> Angelina, can I have a Today? Sa 30 po. Sa 30? Ah, so ilagay mo yung baby birthday. <laughs> Ang cute. <laughs> Parang kaya, she... She counts every day. Ah, uh, four days left, three days left. <laughs> Same. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Samonim, I have a question po. Um, hmm. Ano po yung chapter natin? Huh? Ano? Chapter na babasahin po natin is Genesis 11 po ba? Tama po. No, 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 no. Uh, for Holy Week, I changed it. Oh, yesterday I sent this one. Mark chapter 11, 20 to 33. Hmm. Okay. Okay po, Samini. Salamat po. Yeah, me too. Yan. Okay, nabablanko ako eh. Pero... Sana may icebreaker tayo. Next week, mayroon tayo. Ayan. So, sa hapon na to, bago po tayo mag-start sa ating um, activity or sa ating um, youth fellowship via Zoom, okay lang yan. Kahit magkakalayo tayo, ayos lang yan kasi ano, um, mayroon naman tayong mga gadgets, di ba? Even though hindi tayo nakakakita ng face-to-face, -face, is um, mayroon naman tayong gamit na gadget para makita yung bawat isa. Kaya hinihikayat ko, in-encourage ko yung bawat isa na um, i-open nyo yung camera nyo para um, hindi namin kayo makalimutan. <laughs> hindi namin makalimutan yung mukha nyo, ibig sabihin. Ayan. So, Ayan. So, this afternoon po, um, pwede po ba tayong manalangin ng sabay-sabay? And nagsama-sama po before we start our youth fellowship. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this afternoon that you've given to us. I pray na kayo po yung patuloy na mag-guide, mag-lead, and mag-protect sa bawat isa sa amin. Lord, I pray handa niyo po ang aming spirit, Panginoon, sa pakikinig ng inyong salita. Ang naman po, Panginoon, yung gawa ng kaaway ay sinasaway namin in the name of Jesus. And I pray po, Panginoon, na kayo po yung patuloy na kita sa hapon na ito. Dalangin ko po, Panginoon, na yung aming internet connection ay gawin stable para po kami patuloy na hindi ma-skip, Panginoon, ng miskis ang word niyo po, Panginoon. Dalangin po namin, Panginoon, na busogin niyo po kami sa aming spiritual gaya ng pag Busog na sa amin, sa aming physical na pangangatawal. Dalangin ko po, Panginoon, na yung magbabahagi na inyong salita is patuloy niyong um, i-guide and lead Panginoon. And linisin niyo po yung aming puso at isip ng sagayon, Panginoon. Yung inyong banal na espiritu ay patuloy na manahan sa amin at patuloy na mangusap sa amin sa hapon na to. Dinadalangin ko po, Panginoon, na anuman po yung nasa isip yung bawat isa, anuman po yung alalahanin ng bawat isa sa Hapon na to Panginoon, is um, 
Sinasaway ko po ito sa pangalan ni Jesus, Panginoon. Bigyan niyo po kami ng focus, understanding, Panginoon, sa inyong salita na maririnig namin sa hapon na ito. Panginoon, kahit po kami ay magkakalayo, um, kami po ay iisa dahil meron po kami iisang Diyos, Panginoon. Maraming, maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa hapon na ito. Sa inyo po, ang lahat ng papuri at pagsamba at pasasalamat sa dakilang pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. So, palakpakan po natin ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Palakpakan natin yung palakpak na para sa ating Panginoon. So, this afternoon po tayo po ay mag-start natin sa ating praise and worship. Handa na po ba tayo? Pakinig ng Amen. Amen. Handa na po ba tayo? Amen. Okay, pag nag- Handa na, ba, handa na po ba tayo? Sasagot kayo ng Hallelujah. Handa na ba tayo? Hallelujah. Isa pa. Handa na po ba tayo magpuri sa ating Panginoon na buhay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ayan. Amen. So ngayon, tayo ang magpupuri sa ating Panginoon sa pagkakataon na ito. Handa natin ang ating puso para papurihan ng ating dakilang Diyos. Eh, magandang hapon sa lahat. Yun. Yes. Para, parang ako, ah, napit ka naman dito. Para mm. makita ka nila. So, ayan po. Um, this time, mag, ating mag-focus tayo sa ating um, pag-worship show. Ngay- so, ngayon, um, um, ako stick type muna tayo. And, kasi kami-kami lang naman po nandito. So, um, let's start our worship.
ating pag-awitan at sing safe. Thank you. 
suffering and my hope has come and my heart is safely
Yan. Minsan papapalakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. Panginoong Diyos sa buhay, kasi buhay siya. So, palapakan natin siya ng palakpak na para sa Kanya. Yan. For this afternoon po, tayo po ay mababasa po ng Kanyang salita sa pangunguna ni Bianca. Hello. Yeah. So, Marcos 11 verses verse 1. Marcos 11. Narating ni na Jesus ang bayan ng Betfage at Betan. Ay Ayan, so Marcos 11 verses 20 to 33. Verse 20, kinaumagahan pagdating nila ay nakita nilang natuyo ang puno ng igos hanggang sa mga ugat nito. Naalala ni Pedro ang nangyari dito kaya't kanyang sinabi kay Jesus, Guro, tignan ninyo, patay na ang puno ng igos na isinumpa ninyo. Sumagot si Jesus, manalig kayo sa Diyos. Tandaan ninyo ito. Kung kayo'y mana- nananampalataya sa Diyos at hindi kayo nag-aalinlangan, maaari ninyong sabihin sa bundok na ito, umalis ka riyan at tumalon ka sa dagat. At, at ito nga at, ay mangyayari. Kaya't sinasabi ko sa inyo, anuma, anuman ang hingin ninyo sa inyong panalangin, maniwala kayo natatanggap, natanggap na ninyo iyon at matatanggap nga ninyo iyon. Kapag kayo'y tumayo upang manalangin, patawarin mo na ninyo ang nagkasala sa inyo upang ang inyong mga kasalanan ay patawarin din ang inyong ama sa, na nasa langit. Ngunit kung hindi kayo magpapakawad, hindi rin naman kayo patatawarin ang inyong ama na nasa langit. Muli silang pumasok sa Jerusalem. Habang si Jesus ay naglalakad sa patyo ng templo, nilapitan siya ng mga punong pari. ng mga tagapagturo ng kautosan at ng mga pinuno ng bayan. Siya'y tinanong nila, Ano ang karapatan mo gumawa ng mga bagay na ito? Sino ang nagbigay sa iyo ng ganyang karapatan? Sumagot si Jesus, Tatanungin ko kayo, sasagutin ninyo ito at sasabihin ko sa inyo kung kanino galing karapatan kong gumawa ng mga bagay na ito. Sabihin ninyo sa akin, kanino galing ang karapatan ni Juan na magbautismo? Sa Diyos ba o sa mga tao? At sila'y nag-usap-usap. Kung sasabihin natin galing sa Diyos, itatanong naman niya, niya sa atin kung bakit hindi natin pinaniwalaan si Juan. 32. Ngunit kung sasabihin naman natin galing sa tao, baka kung ano naman ang gawin sa atin ng mga tao. Nangamba sila sapagkat nawala, Naniniwala ang marami na si Juan ay isang tunay na propeta. Last verse, kaya't ganito ang kanilang isinagot, Hindi namin alam. Kung gayon, hindi ko rin sasabihin sa inyo kung kanino galing ang karapatan kong gawin ng mga ito. Tugon ni Jesus sa kanila. Okay, thank you, Bianca, for reading uh, today's verses. Uh, we want to, because the Holy Week now is from Monday, so we want to think about the Jesus. And then the Mark, the book of Mark also tells about the life of Jesus. So please continue to read as the, uh, according to the QT schedule to know the, how, what did Jesus and what Jesus did. Okay, so today I want to think about the Jesus. Uh, in chapter 11, Mark in chapter 11, first part, they, Jesus was hungry and want to get the one fruit from the fig tree, but there was no fruit. So that's why Jesus cursed it. And then today's verse is starting about uh, like this, when 
they pass by the same fig tree, the disciples recognized that it withered. So when his disciple told Jesus that, Jesus look at that, the fig tree withered. And then Jesus said like this, number one is have a faith in God. And number two, believe that God answered to your prayer if you pray to him in faith. Number three is forgive others. His disciple mentioned the withered fig tree. The Jesus answer was about the faith and prayer and forgiveness. Okay. Jesus mentioned have a faith and pray and forgive others. So we can see the ifus in relationship with God. Through this conversation, we can say that if we have a strong faith in God, in other words, if we trust that God can solve our problem, and if we have faith that God can solve our problem and get God also listen to us, we will pray to him because we know his power. That is one number one if. So if we have a strong faith in God, we can pray to him. That's why God, Jesus mentioned the first number one is have a faith in God. After that, Jesus mentioned that believe that God answered to your prayer. So first one is have a faith. Number two is that believe that God answered to our prayer. So if we have a strong faith, we can pray to him because we know his power. Second if is if we ask God faithfully, if we pray to God with our faith, he will answer to us as he promised. Because God promised, Jesus promised that God answered to our prayer. That's why if we ask God with our faith, he will answer to us as he promised. And then number three is that uh, after I mentioned faith and prayer, Jesus mentioned about the forgiveness. So if we forgive others, God will also forgive our sins. Because if we are bounded on earth, we are bounded on heaven. If we are loose on earth, our relationship in the heaven is also loosened. So we have to solve the, our conflict with our others on earth. Then we can have the reconciliation in the heaven. Okay, so this is our three ifus. Why? Why we have, uh, we have to do like this? And why Jesus mentioned do like this? Why? We want to think about the why. Because faith in God changed everything. Jesus said that if you have a faith, you can move the mountain. We have no power to move the mountains, right? But the faith in God change everything. If you have faith in God, we can move the mountain. So we can say that we should pray to God in faith. Here, not just pray to God. With the faith, we have to pray. Now, because of the pandemic, this is the perfect time that we have to pray to God with the faith. So many prayer requests in the pandemic. And then our one challenge is that about level of our faith. How much do you trust in him? So when we doubt the power of the faithful prayer, though we pray every day, Lord, please stop the COVID-19. Lord, please protect my father you know, abroad. Lord, please protect my family. Please heal my family. Lord, give us the chance to study even in the pandemic. But when we cannot hear God's direct answer prayer, maybe we doubt. However, whenever we doubt the power of the faithful prayer, we have to remember this verse. This is what Jesus promised us. I will read, therefore I tell you, this is what Jesus told us. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. It is not the genius. It is whatever we pray, we have to remember our prayer 
must seek God's will. Our prayer must be done in faith. When we do our prayer, when we pray to God with faith, and when we seek God's will in our prayer, whatever you ask, believe that you have received it. It is, will be yours. So with faith, pray. That is the only thing that we can do in this situation. Another part is a Jesus' attitude to a question. Whenever uh, disciples ask Jesus, Lord, what is the meaning of this parable? Jesus always answered to them. However, here, when chief priests and the scribes ask Jesus this question, we have to see what is the Jesus' attitude. The chief priest and the scribes ask that, by what authority are you doing these things? They challenge the authority of Jesus. By what authority are you doing this, this one? Who give you this authority to do this one? They are asking it. And Jesus said, instead of what authority he has, he asked them again, ask back, was the baptism of John from heaven or from men? If you answer me, I will answer to you about my authority. Okay. Uh, chief priest and scribe ask that by what authority are you doing these things? But do you think their intention is good? Do you think they ask this question to know the truth? And you also know that they have a different intention. They have the distorted intention to make Jesus in trouble. That's why instead of answering yes or no, direct answer, Jesus also ask back and have the condition. If you can answer this one, I will answer. So was the baptism of John from heaven or from men? Jesus asked. So now, we can see that they were in trouble, though they wanted to make Jesus in trouble by his question. Because chapter 11, uh, 31, 32 said that, and they discussed it with one another saying, if we say from heaven, he will say, why then did you not believe him? Okay, so this means that, ah, the baptism of John is from heaven. And then they said, why you don't believe in the John the Baptist, right? But shall we say from men? They were afraid of the people for they all held that John really was a prophet. Because the John the Baptist was, uh, uh, many people admired John the uh, Baptist. That's why if they degrade the level of the John, they will be in trouble. So they are in trouble Dalaga, because they do not have no option from heaven, from men, all things will be problem to them. So they were in trouble. They could not choose any option because they sense that every answer would cause them to be in trouble and reveal their hypocrisy. They could not choose anything. That's why they saw the Hindi Namin Allah. I do not know. So here, what I want to say is the right to refuse. When somebody asks you to make you in trouble, remember you have a right to refuse it. If the chief priests and the scribes ask this question for their learning, Jesus would answer them faithfully. They will, Jesus would teach them. However, Jesus knew their intention. He refused to answer to their question, though he knew the answer. We have to remember Jesus know where his authority comes. However, he did not answer it because they, he knew their bad intention. Jesus reversed the situation with his wise, sharp question and refuse to entertain their distorted purpose. If somebody asks us some question, especially about our faith, 
to make us in trouble, to doubt, to make us doubt our faith. If somebody asks us some question to shake our faith, we have the rights to refuse to entertain their distorted purpose. So wisdom in conversation, this is what I pray for all of us. Like Jesus, we should be wise and confident with what we are doing. So why you join this fellowship in Zoom? You should have the wise and confident about that. Why Adrian and Kirby seeing in this pandemic? Very hard, but why they praise God? You should be wise and confident in what you are doing. Like Jesus, we should use our right to refuse, entertain other evil requests. Like Jesus, we should conduct a critical thinking in any conversation, especially to testify our faith. Okay, so faithing forward. Number one, we have to have faith in God. Faith is the key for every case, especially now, everybody, we really need the faith. And we should pray to God to go through our challenges. Number two, we have to be confident about our God. God is great. God is faithful. God is powerful. That's why we have to confident in him rather than be embarrassed. So I pray all our youth go through these hardships very well. And in the end, let's glorify God. Okay, let's pray. Lord, thank you very much. You touch our youth's heart. That's why they are in this Zoom. Lord, bless them. You know their hardship. You know their wounds. You know their prayer requests. When they pray to you in faith, answer to them. Let them see the light in the darkness so that they can have the power and strength to go through this hardship. Lord, lead us so that we can proclaim the glory to God in the end. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, minsan papalapakan natin ang ating Panginoong Diyos dahil um, sinabi, di ba, na um, tayo bilang isang mananampalataya hindi lang pwedeng puro prayer lang prayer, dapat yung prayer natin ay may kasamang pananampalataya at pananalig sa ating Panginoon Diyos so minsan mahirap tawagin o mabuhay bilang isang kristyano pero dahil sa kabutihan ng ating Panginoong Diyos mapagtatagumpayan natin ang lahat ng bagay and sa darating na kinabukasan is start ng ating um, Holy Week so kailangan tayo ay um, alahanin natin yung kabutihan na ginawa ng ating Panginoon Diyos sa atin So, this afternoon po, um, tayo po ay manalangin po. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you for this afternoon na ibinigay niyo sa amin. I pray, Panginoon, na sa pagkakataon na ito, ipatuloy niyo kami tuwan kung paano magpalataya na buo at tapat sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa buhay ng mga kabataan na um, ginugol yung oras para makakita nito sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa inyong kabutihan. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa inyong kamatayan sa krus para tubusin ang aming mga kasalanan. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa lahat ng mga bagay na ginawa at ginagawa at gagawin niyo pa rin, Panginoon, para sa amin. Sa inyo po, Panginoon, ang lahat ng kabutihan, ang lahat ng papuri, ang lahat ng pagsamba, ang lahat ng pasasalamat. Sa inyo lamang po, Panginoon. Ito po ang maluwalhati, ito po ang aming dalangin. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Oh, that
tayo ay announcement. We will move po sa ating announcement for this afternoon po. Yan. You, dahil po sa um, ECQ, hindi po muna tayo ma makakapag um, face to face worship. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina. And Pero um, tayo po ay um, blessed pa rin. Bakit? Kasi meron tayong mga gadgets na yan ngayon yung ginagamit ng ating Panginoon para hindi tayo totally na ma-out diba? sa pakikinig ng kanyang salita. So kapag, may, uh, kapag gusto may paraan, kapag ayaw ay may dahilan. So tandaan natin na bilang isang mananampalataya dapat meron tayong pananampalataya. And dapat yung, um, yung faith natin is kasama is yung action. So tayo ay makakapag-worship ng I think two weeks sa ating Zoom ngayon, Sunday and next Sunday. And sana wag na ma-extend yung ating um, ECQ para hindi na tayo medyo mahirapan and para free na tayo. And then um, keep safe sa bawat isa. Kung lalabas tayo, um, always wear mask and then... Um, kung wala naman tayong mahalaga gagawin sa labas, and then wag na lang tayong lumabas. And ayun po, sabi din may um, another announcement pa ba tayo? Uh, sa Holy Week, uh, if you can, I encourage you to read the whole mark. Pero kung mahira, just follow the schedule of the QT. And then let's meditate. Uh, we cannot gather together for prayer meeting, but sa bawat bahay, kayo namang bahala para ma remember Jesus, what Jesus did and then how precious the salvation it is. That's all. Ayun po. So, para sa pagkatapos ng ating um, youth fellowship sa hapon na to, tayo pa'y magkatapos sa pagbabasa ng ating um, Lord's Prayer. Okay, let's recite ang ating Lord's Prayer. One, two, three, go. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Yeah, maraming salamat po sa ating mga kabataan na nasa Zoom na nagtagumpay sa hapon na to. Yeah, picture, picture tayo, picture! Okay, okay. okay. picture, picture! <laughs> okay, ready na kayo? Okay, I will count to three. Okay, nice. One, two, three! Yes, nice. Thank you very much. Salamat. Thank you po. Bye-bye. Bye-bye po. I love you. Bye-bye po. 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 Bye-